Jackson made Stranger in Moscow mm-hmm. or Moscow. Moscow. Janet Jackson made this song in Paris, revolving around Paris. Paris. Hi. Good old Paris. Ah, they sound so similar in more ways than one. I liked it. I liked it. It was nice, easy going, yeah. laid back, uh, relaxing pop song. And uh, all about uh, this character who she wants back in her life, you know, uh, it's, uh, she's literally on her knees and begging him please to come back. So the lyrics are pretty straightforward. Uh, it's, it's, you don't have to beg, you know, I always feel the men don't do it enough, but the females happen to do it all the time, whether it's music, whether it's movies. Whether it's TV shows, you always see the female, mostly see the female as the one who's begging, you know, uh, literally down on her knees, willing to do anything to get that man back in her life. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's sad, it's sad. That, that being said, this song was good to listen to. But I don't agree with the lyrics, I don't agree with always woman. And it's typical American culture, you know, to put woman down. Always it shows that woman is servile, woman is a slave, woman is the one who's enslaved. And uh, you know, that it's always portrayed that way. Anyone who listens to American music and watches American TV shows and movies will think woman is someone who you can toy around with, you know, you know play around, manipulate, cheat, do anything with and she'll still beg to come back. So it's a wrong message sent by songs like this and I for one don't don't vouch for any of them. So while I like the sound of the song and her voice and it reminded me a lot of the great Michael Jackson, I definitely don't agree with songs which portray a woman as a beggar once again. Once again. It was gentle. It was definitely gentle on the ears. I like those flicks that came in uh, off and on. It sounded good. I She's definitely uh, got a great voice uh, to sing songs like these. Yes, but the lines of the song, I'm begging you please repeated a couple of times in the song um, the whole idea of love is uh, so twisted and uh, thanks to music movies etc too uh, and you know the way it is uh, for a young person who's a huge fan of Janet Jackson and who listens to this song I mean those days and then those became the parents and you know the same ideas got transferred to their children or maybe their children also learning from uh, movies and music they think this is what the idea of love is that the, somebody has gone away long 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 time ago she is going through a drawer and then she realizes that oh he wrote a letter to me and now i remember him and now i got him back i want him back so yeah <laughs> as if he's waiting there for you yeah so he may be somewhere i don't know if you are in paris wherever he is and he's just sitting there waiting for you and then these fantasies and these uh, uh dreams and people i mean waste a lot of time it's a lot of uh, precious time of a person's lifetime that is wasted uh figuring these things out when this should not be that difficult love shouldn't be difficult but it is and that's what we are told Every time we are told by all artists and all, because their lives are also very difficult and they never really could yeah, their understand lives are love. pathetic and they miserable and they want, I and think, everyone has message. to be like yeah. them. Live so pathetic, shallow, their miserable lives. You will understand how, uh, how, uh, how good their understanding of relationships and love is. But fans and, you know, people who get influenced, they listen to them. They really follow them without using their brain. That this is just for entertainment, listen to it and move on. Unfortunate. I yeah. like the way she sounded though. 